Welcome back. As we've been reporting, the number of COVID cases in Erie County and beyond have now reached very critical levels. And we're seeing the immediate impact on hospitals. There are now 517 hospitalizations in the Western New York region. That's up more than 20% in just the last week. Right now, 27% of hospital beds in all of Western New York are available. Uh, we are in a very, very uh, tenuous situation with regards to the growth of COVID-19 cases in our community, the rapid increase of hospitalizations, and unfortunately as well, the rapid increase in deaths. So. Doing nothing, really not an option anymore because nurses are at their limit. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News anchor Ed Drange is going in depth, taking you back inside the ICU at Millard Fillmore Suburban Hospital. <laughs> It's rough. Our COVID cases are increasing. It's scarier this time. Three nurses, each caring for critically ill COVID patients inside the ICU at Millard Fillmore Suburban Hospital, where it's all hands on deck. Okay. Kelly Francis is gowned and gloved, going into this COVID positive patient's room marked by those white X's on the door. When our patients come to us, it's, I don't know how to say this, um, the last resort. We don't see a lot of them actually leave the ICU. On this day, 11 patients in the ICU were COVID positive. Empty beds aren't empty for long, with dozens more COVID patients being treated on regular floors. We have less people in critical care situations, but they're still very sick and suffering and uh, having a very hard time. Julie Grimm is one of those nurses we met back in April. We're trying to wake her up. Yep. Okay. At that point, it was controlled chaos in the ICU. One, two, three. Nothing like this was ever even in our imagination. Eight months later, during this second surge, Grimm says nurses are once again exhausted, overworked, and overloaded. It's nerve wracking, you know, that you're going to make the wrong decision or that somebody isn't going to get the time that they that they need. As the number of COVID admissions to the hospital, let alone the ICU, goes up on a daily basis, the number of nurses getting sick is also rising. We've got, you know, three people who are out for two weeks. That makes a difference. It is putting a strain on our abilities. Lindsay Acevedo is the charge nurse who, between the time we saw her in August and now, was diagnosed with COVID and out of work herself. I can empathize with the patients with what they're going through with what they feel, but I can speak with another person and their symptoms may have been completely different. She says the patients are also different, now healthier middle-aged adults. In fact, she recently had to put a 42-year-old man on a ventilator. It's not something that you want to see, and, and it is emotional, but you have to do what's best for the patient, and if we lose control, that's not going to help them. We die inside, but we continue on and do the work. Those emotions are hard for people on the outside to understand, which is why these nurses rely on the team around them to cope. In Lindsay Acevedo's case, not only does she have other nurses, but remember Kelly Francis in the Red Scrubs? That's Lindsay's sister, who says she hasn't had a non-COVID assignment in three months. I have her to talk to. You know, you have to have a support person to bounce things off of and talk to, and we're all really good about that with each other. Together, Kelly and Lindsay had to prone this patient, rolling them on their stomachs as part of a treatment plan. COVID patients stay on their stomachs for 16 hours at a time, helping them breathe better but only perpetuating the problem for these nurses. When these people are so sick and we're proning them, it is physically daunting on your body and you leave and your neck hurts and your arms hurt and your back hurts and you just kind of go home and crash because you know you have to do it all over the next day. We need people to know that it's serious. I know there's a lot of people out there who think that this is all a media thing. It's, you know, politicians and stuff. It's real, it's out there and it's bad. These nurses each separately said that we have to do a better job as a community to make sure we stop the spread of this virus because no one wants to head back into another shutdown. Consider this. Millard Fillmore has 85 COVID positive patients at last check being treated on regular medical floors on top of the patients they're already treating on those floors with 15 others in the ICU, which is why there is such concern about overloading the hospital systems all around Western New York. In the newsroom tonight, Edge Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News. Yes, we must do better as a community. These nurses, these hospital workers, Jeff, are exhausted.